this is the engine control diagram for RTFlex engine 50D. Uh, I will be telling you today the major components involved uh, in this diagram. We have the crank angle sensor that is CAS that is crank angle sensor. We got uh, two crank angle sensor. So if one crank angle sensor fails, we can still run the engine with another crank angle sensor. This is one of the important component over here. Uh, this is connected to the crank shaft. So when the crank shaft rotates, this also uh, takes the uh, signal from the uh, rotation and gives the signal to the flux view. Uh, the other component here is uh, we have the uh, servo oil pump. We got two servo oil pumps here, one and two here. And uh, if one fails, still we will be able to run the other one. Then we have got the uh, fuel pump one, two, three, and the actuators. We got the actuators over here. Then on the major other component is uh, VCU. This is wall control unit. Uh, this controls the opening and closing of the exhaust wall. Then the other component here is ICU. ICU is injection control unit. Uh, this controls the flow of uh, oil to the injector, when to open and when to close. And another component is, you got the emergency stop block. So this block is the one when you press the emergency stop, uh, this uh, oil will drain in the fuel drain line and the pressure will become zero so and the engine will stop. Then we got other components, we got the starting air wall, we got this starting air solenoid and main starter wall. So now I, I will what I will do is I will zoom it, I will zoom it so that you can understand better now. Okay, so after I zoom it, you can see, after I zoom it, you can, I want to show it in such a way, yeah, you can see this. Uh, this is crank angle sensor 1 and this is the other one then we have the belts belts need to be inspected uh, regularly so we have a, a orifice here uh, where the loop oil is going for the bearing of this crank angle sensor uh, so the orifice uh, need to be checked uh, frequently so that it is not clogged so oil is flowing into it this is a daily check need to be done and uh, this crank angle sensor is attached to the crank angle shaft this is attached to the crank angle shaft so this again uh, turns the with the gear movement we are turning the uh, servo oil pump we got two servo oil pumps here and uh, like electrical fuse we got a mechanical fuse here the mechanical fuse is again when there is uh, any torque or something there is a problem with the shaft the fuse this will break so for the safety of the uh, pump service air pump so i will just show you what i was explaining before we have got uh, three pumps one two three these are three fuel pumps then we got three actuators one two three these are actuators again all these are connected to one we got the cam here so once the engine rotates the ca cam shaft will push the fuel pump and the pressure will build up. Uh, we have, uh, I will just uh, scroll up. The other important component is uh, VCU. This is wall control unit. This is the one. Uh, this controls the opening and closing of the uh, exhaust wall. So we can see here there is a filter in the line. The filter need to be clean every 18,000 hours routine. Okay, this filter need to be clean. And we have got two ra uh, rails here. This is the fuel rail and this is the lube oil rail where the oil is pressed up. Here also oil is pressed up here. Then you have got the non-return valve here. And uh, we got the pressure transmitters here for the fuel and for the lube we got the lube oil pressure transmitters. And other important component here is this is the block. This is the emergency stop block. Uh, when you press the emergency stop, the pressure in the rail is released and the engine stops. Here also you have a filter uh, which need to be cleaned every 18,000 hours. Okay, 
the other important component here is if you see this this is ICU uh, this is injection control unit uh, this is used to control the uh, flow of oil into the fuel injector so for the opening of the injector here also we have a filter here this filter also need to be cleaned 18,000 hours this is what it is so I will show you I will just push the other side I will show you uh, the place where the this is the exhaust valve this is the exhaust valve and uh, we have the start air valve you can see this is the start air valve then start air valve is connected to the solenoid and uh, you can see this is the main starting air valve this is the main starting air valve which we normally when the engine notice is given we keep it in the auto position and when engine is stopped we close it manually uh, then we have the uh, leakage of oil from spring air if there is any leakage you will get an alarm over here then you have this is the turning gear turning if this turning gear uh, is engaged if the turning gear is engaged the main engine will not uh, it is interlock so main engine will not move so the turning gear to be whenever uh, engine is stopped we normally engage the turning gear I will just show you the other slide this side uh, you can see here uh, this is the lubricating uh, this one quill where the pressure is uh, uh, built up and uh, we have a, a pump here which is normally this cylinder oil previously we are using BDN uh, 70 now we have changed to BDN 100 see, because, because of the cold corrosion and all now we are having a better running situation so if you see this again I make it smaller so I have explained almost all the parts over here but still I will explain in detail one by one in the other video I hope you understand